Monday morning. All goes off to find somewhere dry. I've just put some water in the sprayer. I'm going off now, spraying some more OSR, and then I've sucked the pipe dry, so now it'll come off. Now I'm gonna go um, spray that, but also I've got a Zoom meeting at the same time. So, off we go. Another field of OSR, grass weeds on the headland, middle not too bad. Problem is, that is the height of the OSR because we had to re-drill it because the first crop was completely grazed off. Another field that probably end up getting re-drilled. From here, it looks like there's nothing. But will these plants actually make a crop? Already too badly chewed and infected. It is good that we did re-drill it. You know, we have got something. But if you look in the shade of the tree, where it perhaps didn't get the hot temperatures, it's not so bad. There's, you know, there is plenty of plants. But when you look along, you can sort of see green stripes but they're just so small and why has that fell off so it's chewed that off i can't believe that just a few days difference in drilling that's such a vast difference it's hard to see this making harvest at the moment <coughs> In other news, I've just had a Zoom meeting about the tractor run. It is looking like if it happens, it will be the 10th of December because we think the football match is going to clash on the Sunday the 17th. The problem we've got is this year, the police are saying that it's not in their remit to do the traffic management, despite the last three years them doing it with us. So we need to have a traffic management company, which we have spoken to, but I can't see our traffic management can do what the police can do. We need about 30 transit vans and a team of like 60 people blocking junctions, putting crash barrier out. Da, 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 da. It's just impossible, absolutely impossible. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the, the police turn up to local shows, giving out stickers to kids and stuff like that. Now that isn't policing. That's like promoting the police. They might see 3,000 people at the local flower show. Doing that event, they see tens of thousands of people. And for every little kid that stands there in awe of a tractor, there's one that stands there in awe of the police and think, I wanna, I wanna be a policeman one day because they get to drive cars and motorbikes. I think it showcases the police just as much as it showcases the farmers and the tractors. So I think it's a stupid decision if they decide not to help us. Um, you know, because I just well you know what I mean they're not they're not just there to keep the tractors moving they're showcasing what they do Morgan's finished that headland the other day he's going to fill up now with barley we're going to drill some barley I'm just filling up with Ad Blue just ordered some as well actually the tank is pretty low not sure if you can see but maybe when I wipe it, see how wet that is. If you look, you can't really see the end of the field from the misty dampness. Anyway, we're drilling barley. Not ideal, still a bit moist. Hoping it'd be drier today and it'll get a dry day tomorrow. Start to germinate before the rain comes on Wednesday. And now we're only talking actually of sort of six or seven mil on Wednesday. Whereas last week they were talking that we were gonna get nearly 20. Anyway, it's going into a moist seed bed. Lots of beetles there, they're good, aren't they? They, um, they eat aphids. But not perfect conditions for drilling barley, really. Let's just go around that pond now. This'll get sprayed off. I'm gonna put the pre-emergent spray on it. Just hope it grows. 
if we get an absolute deluge on Wednesday and then it stays wet for a few days afterwards, the seed's just sat in water. If it doesn't germinate then, it just, just rots. Neighbours are still over there drilling wheat by the looks of things as well. They'll also be praying for no rain, no deluge on Wednesday. It's hardly worth it, it's all that tractor, is it? Just pairing along. Like I said, we're drilling barley, that's in the back tank, wheat's in the front tank. Annoyingly though, every time the drill lifts up and down for some reason, this is twisting slightly and letting a bit of seed out. Actually, I think it's them rubber flaps worn. That's causing it to drip out. So we're gonna drop the seed onto a seed sock and then that'll stop that happening yeah we drop the seed now onto the seed sock now and then next time we go back drilling wheat we'll just stick that straight back inside but at least it'll stop it trickling out and blowing into the barley i don't mind a little bit of barley growing in wheat but wheat growing in barley um affects it when you want to combine it end up with like wet grains if you will i did think it was that thing pulsing but apparently it could be that rubber flat but we're going to keep an eye on it anyway and see what happens this was the field the other day that was dead sticky there we had to go around the wet holes the headland we couldn't drill so morgan drilled the center then we come and dissed it it dried off a bit and then he's been this morning and drawn the headlands i've come along put the pre-emergence spray on it's cut in a little bit in places but it's just pockets everywhere really i'm really fed up with this autumn and i was really fed up with this september and this August. These videos are getting so depressing, but this year I just wish it was over. In other news though, the sprayer's over two years old and I love it. So thanks to everyone that's watching that's paying for that sprayer. And I'm glad of them wide tyres as well this year. It's still working though. I think I put a ratchet strap around it and fasten it back to there for now just been walking past the ash bin and i can see all this oil so that's not right and it's not so the bracket for that has snapped possibly because there's a slight bend in the auger and it's wiggling as you can now see but it's spun round jammed against that bolt it's still actually working so we get a ratchet strap a longer one loop it on and ratchet back to that girder there and then that'll stop it pushing on that bolt but I think that strap's not long enough I don't think that's long enough I think it's only a three metre strap we're still actually waiting for the screen so I've got a black screen that's hopefully going to be here very soon but it is still running that'll do for a bit amazingly just, just long enough. Another 10 mil and it wouldn't have worked. At least it can't snap that because it can wiggle with it. We can leave that for six months really now, can't we? Proper farmer fix. Unless we get baler twine. I've been washing something off with the petrol jet wash. And Morgan's pretty much between fields. He's just come for a bit of diesel and a bit of ad blue as well just adding up what seed we've got left we're going with a slightly higher seed rate to the originally planned because the soil conditions aren't ideal anyway this is the what we've got left of the barley seed that's just going to run a bit up now to morgan that is the unfortunate thing about that drill because the way it's designed you can't fill the hopper without folding the drill out which is great if you've got a massive yard because you just fold it out but here, when you're filling it with diesel and there's not really a lot of room, it's it's a pain. So he's in the field, sort of like over there. So my dad's just going to take the seed to him once he's got back to the field and open back out again. And then we'll fill it up. But yeah, I, I don't know whether the new ones, they've changed them slightly. 
where you don't have to put the axle out to unfold. So that means make it a bit easier to fill up in the yard, perhaps, I don't know. But otherwise, when he comes in, he's got to go down the yard at 5K, fold the wheels out, lift the drill, fold it a bit, take up loads of room, fill it, and then put it all back together again. But yeah, I don't know. If anyone's got a new avatar, let me know. Can you unfold it without um, easily to fill up in the yard? Just looking, single spike on that one. That's obviously been used for fill filling the drill. Now he's going to take him with this one. Right, go on. You can fit four up on two forks. Like two on either either one. Well, that bedding can be pushed back now. That's chopped OSR straw for horse bedding. Cheaper and better and more effective than. Wood shavings. Do you think it's shot? Doesn't have a big enough shed to store it all in, so it ends up here, next to the tens of thousands of pounds worth of fertilizer that I don't need till March. That's another story, but I'm glad I've got it in the shed because it's obviously all kicking off now in the Middle East and Israel, and Israel own a lot of fertilizer plants. So is fertilizer going to go back up? Is grain going to go back up? What's going to happen? The world is mad. You know, it's obviously still going on in Ukraine, and then now it's kicking off in the Middle East. Who knows? I can, you can guarantee fuel's gonna go up though, can't you? And then fuel obviously is then related to gas and gas is then related to fertilizer. So hopefully that fertilizer that I thought I might have bought, not quite 100% right, might still end up being cheap. Who knows? Just need wheat to go up as well though. Right, I think I've had this as a quiz question before, but what are they called? Because we all call them different names. Hopefully someone will know what to call them and what you use them for. Let us know in the comments. Right, anyway, yeah, I'm going in, getting changed. It's the Fringe event, the NFU Fringe event for the Labour Party conference. It's only up the road in Liverpool. Last week was the, in Manchester, was the Conservative Party Fringe event. I spoke to Theresa Coffey, she couldn't really answer any questions. The guy now that's the DEFRA minister, the shadow minister for Labour, is probably most likely next year to actually be an end, ending up being the actual DEFRA minister because if they have an election and the Conservatives lose, there's a good chance that they'll be in power. So it'll be interesting to see if he knows anything about farming and also invite him to the farm. The, the previous shadow one we did have at the farm, but she actually never ended up in an important job. But we'll all see what they've got to say anyway. It's only, it's only up the road and this is just picking me up, so I've only got to get changed. So actually, to be honest, I'll end the video now. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's been another frustrating day with the oilseed rape and mauling, getting wheat in and not ideal for conditions for drilling barley, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that's got that. Although Tom Lamb keeps sending me videos of dust coming off his disc. You can stop doing that, Tom. You're pissing me off. <laughs> anyway. Go and check out his YouTube. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you all tomorrow.